Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we've got yet another video in our WD My Cloud series because a viewer, Johan Barkholzen, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, uh, wrote in to see if there was a way to limit the size of the Mac Time Machine backups on the MyCloud. So what you can do uh, with the MyCloud and actually just about every other network attached storage device we've looked at over the last couple of months uh, is use it with the Apple's built-in Time Machine backup system to basically back up everything automatically over your network. Now the way Time Machine works is that it's an incremental backup. It takes snapshots of files when they're changed and every hour copies those files over to the de destination device. So a lot of your files don't change every hour but a good number of them do and uh, over time that could fill up especially if you've got things like virtual machines and you know Outlook databases QuickBooks files things that uh, tend to grow over time and change it's going to copy those entire files over every time unless you exclude them so it's very possible uh, you could fill up your MyCloud very quickly so there are ways to limit uh, how much that uh, how much space is allocated for uh, time machine backups on the MyCloud and there's actually two different ways to do it depending on which MyCloud you have so the single drive MyCloud is a very simple interface which we'll check out now uh, the dual drive and the quad drive the EX2 the EX4 and the MyCloud mirror actually have a very different way of doing it so we're going to show you uh, both ways that you can limit those time machine backups so let's take a look first though at the uh, the single drive unit this is the regular WD MyCloud it's actually pretty simple you just go over to settings uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, where it says Mac backups you want to make sure this is switched to on of course so that your Macs can see it as a time machine share uh, you then go into the configure option there and select the share that you wish to back up to and then you just set this little slider here for the amount of space you wish to have um, basically the maximum amount of space that you want to assign to uh, the time machine backups it won't um, allocate this and use it until it gets used so as your Mac is filling it up it'll basically go uh, to whatever limit you set and then we'll start deleting the old backups to kind of stay within that that maximum uh, storage range so you don't have to worry about giving up all the space initially they do recommend that you set it to the highest setting when you start and then after that first backup is complete you can kind of dial it back Now you'll notice that this um, little thing on the side here is not updating as I move the slider it's uh, some kind of glitch on their web interface so if you double click on it just to select the text it'll give you an idea of where you're uh, looking to click at so I'm going to set mine to maybe uh, we'll go down here and set it to like 830 gigabytes based on what I'm back up back, backing up every time this is probably sufficient so I'll click save here and this doesn't really do anything bad to your backups provided you have given yourself enough cushion to cover that first big initial backup and then what it'll do over time is just delete older backups as it fills up that allocated space now multiple drive my clouds behave a lot differently so if we go over to settings and look for that uh, time machine backup setting down at the bottom here you'll notice when I click on the configure button here that we don't have the option for setting the size we can certainly pick the share it's got room for that quota but they took it out of this mainly because on the multiple drive units which are a little bit more complex they manage storage quotas by the users so if you click on users and let's go pick up my temp user real quick um, you go over here to quotas and you can then configure uh, how much space you can allocate to that user and what I would do in this instance is create a user specifically for time machine so the way time machine works when you configure it over the network is that it will ask you for a username and password uh, to log into the network device for for time machine purposes only so that what that username and password can be different than the one you normally use with your Mac to log in to browse files and move things around so I would set up that user set the quota and then use that user only for time machine on your Macs and then that way uh, the time machine system on the WD my cloud will manage the quota based on what you set for that particular time machine user and that's the way uh, to keep your file sizes under control there so uh, two very different ways of controlling time machine quotas but it is possible to basically police how much space you allocate for time machine backups on your network this is Lon Seibin thanks for watching